student asked me, draw the three structural isomers of C6H10Br2. This was asked by their teacher. It is a terrible question because there are more than three structural isomers for this formula. I believe what the teacher is trying to get at is that this is similar to C6H12. That's if both of these bromines were hydrogens, this would have been C6H12. And that's the commonly uh, written form for cyclohexane, which is six carbons in a ring. Now, where are the two bromines on that ring is the question we're going to ask ourselves. Well, wow, this actually is an even worse question than I thought. One option is for the two bromines to both be on the same carbon. Another option is for the bromines to be on adjacent carbons. Another option is for the bromines to be on uh, like carbons one and three, if you started to count around the ring. If you're into benzene, which this is not, then that would be like ortho, meta, and this would be called para, but you can't do that here. Oh, there's actually four structural isomers of this that have this ring in it. Now again, structural is the connectivity of it. There are more than one uh, stereo isomer for this one and that one and that one. But again, we're here for structural isomers. This, I think, is what the teacher was trying to get at, is that the bromines can be arranged differently around the ring. But you can also create a C6H10Br2 that happens to be a straight chain. It's actually an alkene, so I'll just put my double bond, I don't know, at the beginning, right? And then I can put my BRs anywhere I want along the chain. Here I'm putting them both at carbon one, but uh, I could imagine a version of that where they are on carbons one and two, and I could imagine another one where they're on carbons one and three, etc., etc. And then I have to keep going through all this, but with the double bond in different places along the chain. I don't know how many uh, structural isomers there actually are for this. If your teacher's asking you draw the three structural isomers, they're out to lunch. Here's a good place to get started. And uh, if you really need more of these, you can generate more by moving the double bond around and moving the BRs around for each of those configurations. Um, and if you really need all of them, drop something in the comments and I'll make you a new video. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.